things in Wyatt's mind. I want some pizza. Can I have some? Oh. Wait, is this recycled? You've probably heard of Chuck E. Cheese at some point in your life. Whether that is you drove by one, saw online videos about their creepy animatronics, or you laughed cable and saw them sponsor every single show on PBS. At various points in my life, I visited the establishment of Charles Entertainment Cheese. But not always. Since Chuck E. Cheese's were always pretty scarce in my area, and I'd have to dash all around just to find one. I do remember going there for my 11th birthday, so that was at least fun. Chuck E. Cheese's was founded in 1977 by someone who wanted basically their own knockoff Disneyland. The whole idea was for this pizzeria to be a birthday party utopia, complete with arcade games and animatronics singing to you. The original Chuck E. Cheese was much more rough and tough than his later incarnations, and was more show business inspired. The shirts from his grand opening even said, Bite me. But as time went on, Chuck changed. He went from having a tuxedo, to his Avenger appearance used in the 90s and 2000s, and now the modern rock star one. I was born in 2001, so Avenger Chuck was the one I grew up with. In addition to Chucky, there were more characters populating the pizzeria, such as Helen Henny. Mr. Munch, this purple dude who always reminded me of Grimace, Jasper T. Jowls, and Pasquale the Chef. These four, along with their rodent pal Chucky, made up the iconic animatronic band, which they called Munch's Make-Believe Band. Chuck E. Cheese's Pizza is also another topic worth noting. Some people are convinced that Chucky is actually recycling the pizza. They describe it as tasting stale and kind of nasty. However, it has been years since I was at a Chuck E. Cheese's, so I wouldn't know. What stinks is that I wish I could go back to Chuck E. Cheese's for a fun time, but I don't think they'd want a 21-year-old with no kids entering through the doors even though they do claim to welcome any age. Every time I mention this to someone, they always remind me about the existence of Dave & Buster's, which I do like, don't get me wrong, but it's also a bar. All in all, Chuck's got quite a fun place for any child. Anyway, let's see what comes into my mind next time, and I'm Wyatt Olinger, signing off. Things in Wyatt's mind! Ow.